wanna hang. We wanna hang. We wanna hang. What is up, YouTube? What's going on? It's your boy Tiari TKE, and I am back with another one. Hey, I'm back with another quick tutorial. But before we get into it, I would like you guys to please help me out. Please hit the subscribe. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. So make sure that we reach that and then we taking it higher as time goes. So make sure that you click the subscribe, uh, click the like. It actually helps make sure that the video reaches more people. Make sure that you comment. That also helps with the same thing. Make sure that you engage with me. Tell me what you want to see next. Uh, tell me what, what else you want to learn from the channel, what you want to see on the channel and all of the sweet stuff. But let's get straight into it. Today, I'm going to be showing you something super interesting. If you are an engineer or you, you work with vocals most of the time, you probably know or you've been introduced to the concept of pitch correction. If you haven't, then like you, you are being introduced to it today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to pitch correct on FL Studio using New Tone, which is uh, a stock plugin from uh, ImageLine. If if you guys have FL Studio, by default, you have New Tone. And this is what we're going to be working with today. Uh, I'm just going to get to it in a few. I've, I was working on a beat. It was a, uh, an idea, just an idea. And then I, I just mimed a few words on it. I was trying to form a melody just to make an example of how we do this thing on new tone. So I just did this humming thing and it's, it's, it's not that great. So don't judge me. Let me play for you guys and then you guys will tell me what you think in the comments. But let me just play for you and then we're gonna get into it immediately. Hey. I don't wanna waste your time, no. I waste your time. I don't wanna waste your side. Oh, I waste your side. All right, that's that's it. That's like a basic, basic, basic thing. Nothing fancy. Uh, I didn't need to do much on that. I just wanted to to direct you guys on how to use uh, this thing with new tone. So what I do is, as soon as you have the vocal recorded. Uh, you double click on the vocal that you're trying to change. Uh, so you can do this uh, after you can do this after the, the whole recording is done. But I personally try to do it while I'm recording so that we, uh, I don't lose track of which parts I want to change. But then if you are mixing for someone else, you can still do the same thing. When you get the vocals, you double click on the vocal just like that. And then it's going to show you uh, this menu up here. And then on this menu, uh, you can choose uh, which track you want to put this thing on. Actually, in this case, it doesn't matter what track it, it's on, but uh, a personal preference, I prefer to put uh, the new tone plugin on the channel, which the, the vocals are going to be setting so that I can hear the whole result while I am busy editing on new tone so what i do is on the on the as you can see on the on the channel rack i only have auto tune i have uh i have uh an equalizer i also have avox this is just to help you guys hear it properly and then i'm just gonna add new tone on there let me just find new tone and then just add it on there okay we have new tone on also Another important thing that I feel like you guys should know is that when you, especially when you're working with uh, hip hop vocals, trap vocals, or working with singing vocals that require a lot of auto tune, make sure that you slap that auto tune on there as soon as uh, you you put on the the new tone so that you can actually hear which notes are off because it actually helps out when it comes to that i just crank up the reaching speed to the fullest make sure you're on the right key though because it's super important that you're on the right key make sure you find the key of the song first and then crank up the reaching speed then after that go to new tone make sure the new tone is, is at the top of the channel rack open new tone what you do is remember the the vocal that we opened earlier on you just drag uh, it uh, drag it onto new tone and then there it is. This is the vocal that I recorded. Now it's on new tone. I can be able to correct uh, whatever pitch uh, which I feel like uh, is off. Whichever notes I feel like are off, I can correct them here. First thing I do is I click on this green thing. This is like a, a follow cursor so that it doesn't mess up my work. When I press the, the pause button, it, it doesn't go back. It just 
goes with my direction. So that's what I do. I click on that. Another thing that I do, which is mostly just like the retune speed, is the center knob. I just also crank this up to the fullest. This is just temporary so that I can be able to hear which notes are off. So this is how we do it. Eh. Perfect example with the first one. You can hear that that eh sounds a bit off. Uh, sounds a bit off key. So I'm just gonna eh. try try drag it up. Let me play for you one more time. Eh. Sounded a bit better up there. And then let's hear how it sounds, uh, how the singing sounds actually. I don't wanna waste your time, no. No waste your time. I don't wanna waste your side, no. Uh, in most cases, what I like about new tone is that it actually shows you, it, it actually, in a way, detects the, the key. And then it shows you the right notes. This, these are the, the the notes that are highlighted in white. Are actually, the notes that everything is supposed to be sitting on, which is, uh, it happens sometimes, not always, because in some cases, like in this case here, as you can see, this is like an overlap vocal, so it's not a must for it to be sitting in the white zone. If it sounds nice here, you keep it there. You don't need to move it, because I feel like this one sounds nice. I feel like it sounds nice there, but it can even sound nice if, if I put it up there. Let me do it. Yeah, I actually like it better when it's up there. But yeah, I, I think you, you grab my concept where I'm going with this thing. Yeah, okay, that, that sounded horribly off. So I can just take it up and hear how it sounds. There you have it. I just fixed. I think this vocal didn't have a lot of problems, even though it's it's, it's a super horrible, horrible take. Uh, it didn't actually uh, fix a lot of things. I didn't need to fix a lot of things on that vocal. Um, sorry about that. My phone was was ringing. I forgot to put it on silent. But then uh, I didn't have to fix a lot of things on that one. That's why it's proper, just like this. What I do immediately after this is you can either uh take down the center this depends on whether you want this thing to sound natural or you want it to sound a bit robotic in my case because i actually love vocals that sound a bit natural i always turn it down after correcting it but it actually depends on where you are going with the song that you're working on so you can actually crank it up it will still sound nice it's just a matter of uh, how you hear it. So that's actually it. After that, what you do is you go to the uh, this drag selection and you just drag it on. You do the opposite this time. You drag it on to your audio. And then that's it. Now we have it on the audio. Then the effects are going to take uh, place even on the playlist. So now we have the effect taking place on the playlist. It's fixed. If you play it, it's going to be corrected. There you have it, as perfect as, as you can have it. If you're working on singing vocals, like with uh, the uh, sing, I was actually good at singing, unlike some of us. If you're working with someone like that, you won't even need to put auto-tune on there. You just need to correct uh, the notes that you feel like are off and then put it on there. Then you have a perfectly balanced vocal, like nothing nothing fancy. You don't need to uh, struggle a lot with that. And for other, for other people who, who are using uh, probably Cubase, you can use uh, Very Audio. There's, there's this plugin called Very Audio. It's actually super dope. It comes with uh, with Cubase. I'm not sure about the new versions, but I remember on Cubase 5, you could find Very Audio. It's also a nice pitch correction plugin. Um, another one you can find is Melodyne, which you're going to have to purchase separately. It's also a super nice plugin. You can also check that one out as well. Then, yeah, I think we're done. That was quick, wasn't it? It was super quick and it was super useful. If this was useful for you, please make sure that you click on the subscribe button, hit the notification and be notified when I post. Make sure that you comment and tell me what you want to see next. And you know how we do it. It's your boy TRDTKE and I'm signing now. Strings yeah. are touched, but we really, really wanna hang. Me and my friends. We wanna hang. Me and my friends. We wanna hang. Me and my friends.
said no strings attached, but we really, really wanna hang.